There's community outrage over the killing of nearly 100 baby hammerhead sharks. A $5,000 reward is now being offered to help catch the person or persons responsible. Manolo Morales follows up. Manolo? Joe, the state tells us that this is the first time concerned groups have offered a reward for the taking of hammerhead sharks. The state calls the incident tragic and unnecessary. Nearly a hundred hammerhead pups were dumped near the shoreline by the La Mariana Sailing Club at Keihi Boat Harbor last week. The state says that the sharks were likely trapped in illegal gill nets. Marine life advocates are outraged by how many were killed and how they were discarded. It's really alarming that anyone uh, could be so callous, um, not only in killing these animals, but the way that they were um, just uh, pushed aside as waste. A nonprofit group known as For the Fish has pledged a $2,500 reward, which was matched by another group called Moana Ohana. Experts say the sharks were probably no more than a month old and belonged to different litters. We're not only losing those individual animals, we're losing their reproductive output. We're, we're losing the potential for all of these sharks uh, to replenish their populations that are, in some cases, you know, severely depleted. Gill nets must be registered with the state and cannot be left unattended for more than 30 minutes. A former harbor master tells me somebody out there must have seen what happened. To have that many hammerhead sharks, he would have to come in with a net that just loaded up with sharks. I mean, be on, be right down on the beach, taking the sharks out and throwing them on shore. Somebody would, must have seen that. Omoto says whoever did this must have used three to four nets, which is also illegal. They would have to have enough net to actually close out one channel. So they'll catch everything that's high tide. They wait till the high tide moves all the water in. Then they'll lay their net. So when the low tide comes, everybody wants to come out. And that's when they're going to catch everything. Anyone with information is asked to call the DLNR Division of Conservation and Resources Enforcement, or DOCARE. We will post information on our website, khon2.com. Joe.